Absolutely love it, man. You know when people are trying to look behind the TV to get the optical illusion, you've hit a winner. Well, now that we are done wasting our time with that, maybe you want to hit the open road. And we know that South Africa is known for having some of the most beautiful routes in the world. And one exhilarating way to experience them, of course, is from the saddle of a motorbike. We're joined today by Andrew Browterseth, a local blogger, photographer, and, of course, bike enthusiast, to take us through a few of these incredible tours. Dude, um, I know you spotted the cell phone, so well done. You're, you've got your first tick. Um, what a cool job you have. I'm always comparing jobs here. Yours might be better than mine. You've done some awesome trips. Let's talk about the Western Cape. What stood out there for you? Well, one of the favorite trips of the Western Cape is on the way to McGregor and Robertson. And the Frontrock Pass is a classic uh, ride that we take. Mm. And we go down to Villiersdorp, to Vatuskluf Dam, which is really big, and up to um, Villiersdorp and McGregor. And that's actually really one of my favorite trips you can do in the, in the Western Cape. A lot of nice spots. This is actually from McGregor. Yeah. I, I was going to say, with the mountain ranges that are there, but you've also got you know, the elements of the Karoo as well. So mm. this beautiful mix of topography, absolutely stunning. Now, I know we like to think that the Cape has a monopoly on beautiful spaces, but if we head up north, we know that Gauteng has got some gems as well. Take us through some of the tours you've set up that side. One of the favorite um, Gauteng routes is the Sabi Hazy View, uh, which is about 21 k's. It's on the N4, you go out to Nelspreet and above um, uh, White River. Uh, there's some wow. beautiful, beautiful plas passes. Um, you've got the Rondavals, you've got God's Window. So that's really one of the classic um, northern, northern South African routes. Yeah, and I think a part of the, of, of the country that doesn't get explored that much, and I think that's the whole point, if you're going to do it on the back of the bike, look for the routes that maybe people aren't doing. Look for that, that undiscovered gem. Mm. I think it's best to explore. I mean, the way to Macalisburg, also down to Clarence, there's such beautiful gravel and tar roads that you can just um, take out and, and have a break and open road. Yeah, we know the Macalisburg is the breakfast run capital of South Africa. When someone is, is wanting to approach a bike tour like this, what's the first step? What, what advice could you give them to get the most out of this kind of experience? Learn how to ride a bike. <laughs> get a nice leather jacket. You have to style yourself. 100%. <laughs> and then um, I think it helps if you ride in a group in the beginning stages, just uh, for safety and um, for fun. Yeah, you want to feel like you're a part of that, that kind of community. If I had to ask you to put your head on a block, what would you say is the best bike trip that you've done in South Africa? I think the best one I've done was through the Karoo, um, Swartberg, lots of passes, Trudeau's Pass. It was just really open and just a good breather. Oh, man, awesome, awesome stuff. I know Ewan is going to be heading off on a similar bike tour soon, getting very, very excited. How can we pick up pictures? How do we connect with your blog? How do we join you, um, even if it's indirectly on one of these biking tours? Um, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all as Guy with Camera. And you can follow my blog, guywithcamera.co.za. And he's been running around our studio as the guy with camera the whole morning, Got so he's camera. proven that. Dude, thank you so much thank for you so much. opening a window into South Africa and enjoy and stay safe on your next bike trip, man. Awesome Thanks. to have Andrew here. Maybe you can fill us in on some of the bike tours that you have taken. We want the pictures. Let us know on our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page. We'll still lots coming your way on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.